book was probably the only book I actually found interesting to me. But like, I, I really can't read like really high grade level books because like I struggle reading sometimes. But like that book, like as soon as she like read that book, I just got immediately attached to it. Like it was really good. Is it, like it was so good about learning how people actually fought for their rights to go to school with other people. Like it was, it was pretty good. And um, the black people, they actually struggled to um, get to regular schools, but the white people, they get in like high, high level schools, they actually go to colleges and stuff. Well, I liked it cause like history is my favorite subject. So like I kind of learned, I kind of, I like learned about our history and stuff. And like my main, the main thing why I like the book is cause like how they fought for the rights, how like how much um, when the law passed, how much, how long it took them to change the stuff and everything. And then which reading that read aloud actually helped me find a book that I actually like. Yeah, I'm reading um, Boy at War right now. It's pretty good so far. Like his dad, his dad's boat, like he watches his dad's boat like sink right in front of him. And his dad dies on the boat. It was sad, but I'm, I'm not like close to being friends with my mom all the day. Well, I would go with something that like kind of fits your personality. Like if you like basketball, read basketball. If you like football, read football. If you like learning about history, read history. Or if you just like any topic, just go for it. Well, um, once you find that book that you like, it's gonna like you're gonna read like a lot. So like, I probably will read a lot more football books and stuff more about history. So like, kind of get in the habit of like reading more like over the summer because like the past summers I, I just play video games go outside don't read but I'm gonna try to like read more and get like higher reading level and stuff so I'm like yeah I'm gonna read I'm gonna try to read more over the summer because I read doing sports but I'm not even gonna lie like sports like some sports aren't really my thing like I've been trying to play basketball that's not really my thing and well reading is actually more way more entertaining than playing basketball and stuff like that. And I, the last summers, I haven't been really reading at all. My mom my mom be telling me to read, but I really don't be reading. I just be playing my PlayStation and going outside. But yeah, this summer, I'm probably gonna read a lot more, like way more. I read a lot of like, reading, like when I read to myself, I'm not even gonna lie, it's kind of, sometimes it gets boring, but sometimes it doesn't. But when when like we're reading as a group, as a class, like it's, it's really easy to make connections. like with the book and then some of your classmates too. You know, like as Demar said, like connections, like I like being read to, but I like reading to people too also. So like I also like doing like Reader's Theater. So it was kind of fun cause like the stories, you can kind of connect connect with them, like stuff that's going on in your life or what happened. Or like if you think back to it and it's in the future, like, oh, I read this in school, it reminds me of this. And then like, if you have to go like write something about it, and like sometimes they're like, what connections did you have? And then like, I like that because you like connect and like you can see what like other people have connected with in your group. <laughs> but I I like my parents have been telling me that since I was little, like you can't get anywhere if you don't have like knowledge. Like it's like if not, you're not gonna be like that good in life. You're not gonna be successful. So you like need knowledge so you can do something with your life instead of just sitting there and not doing anything.